Carlos, congratulations. That was a mighty impressive performance. So last time, the only time that you played Misha was an incredibly difficult match. It was 7-6 in the third in a three-set match, really close. Today it was less close. What are you pleased with? What, were, what was working for you tonight in this match? Well, I think everything. Uh, I did, uh, <laughs> I did uh, everything almost uh, perfectly. Uh, yeah, you said in, my, in Miami in 2022, it was uh, really close there, the match, uh, high, high level from both parts. Uh, I think today it was, uh, it was a pretty good match as well. But uh, yeah, as I said, I uh, pushed uh, him to the limit in every ball, in uh, every point. Uh, and uh, obviously he has played uh, a lot of matches in five sets, uh, a lot of uh, tough matches before, before this one. So probably physically uh, he wasn't uh, at his uh, 100%, you know, and uh, in, as I said, in every ball that I push uh, him to the limit, uh, moving side, uh, side by side, uh, I could uh, take my chances uh, in, in every set, and I think I, it was a, a pretty good match for, for, my, for myself. Yeah, it was a very good match, no doubt. <laughs> He's a very good player. We were hoping to see you play this tournament last year. You got injured. You couldn't make it. This is your third time competing in the main draw here in Melbourne. This is the furthest you've gone. You're spending more time on Rod Laver Arena. How comfortable are you starting to feel here in Melbourne on this court? Well, I'm feeling better and better every day. Uh, obviously, uh, every match that uh, I've, uh, I've played here in Rod Laver, I've uh, been feeling com more comfortable uh, and obviously it's a, a pleasure to play here in Road Labor Arena. It's an amazing core, really beautiful one of course. As I said, as, as I said many times here, the, the, the people here in Melbourne, here in Australia are, are so kind so I'm enjoying playing uh, in front of all of you uh, and I think thanks to that I'm uh, so in my, my best level. Uh, you know, feeling uh, feeling like home. It's uh, it's always uh, it's always great. So uh, yeah, I hope to uh, still feeling better and better every day. This was your first tournament of the year, so you came here early. So Melbourne has been your home for what about two weeks now? You've been in Melbourne, is that right? Yeah, two weeks. So, are you starting to get into routines when you get comfortable on your day off? What, do you have certain restaurants that you like? What happens on your days off uh, that makes you feel like you're at home? Well, uh, I mean, the nights before every match, I always try to, to eat sushi. I love it. So, that's, uh, uh, that's uh, my, my routine. I mean, I have now a favorite restaurant, a favorite place. I just... Uh, you know, trying to uh, try different things here in Melbourne, but uh, the sushi is the right thing. Sushi's working for you, good. Right. <laughs> Why not? It's working. Um, so there are a lot of the players on tour that talk about how they really enjoy watching you play and, and seeing all the different shots that you're trying to hit. Who do you like to watch play on tour? Men's, women's tour, wheelchair, doesn't matter. Who are your favorite players to watch when you have some spare time? Well, uh, I'm a huge fan of tennis. I love to, to watch uh, every match if I, if I can. Uh, but uh, I love uh, watching play Daniel, for example, uh, Novak. Medvedev? Yeah, Medvedev, uh, Novak, Sinner uh, as well. Uh, I mean, those guys uh, I like to, to watch because uh, every time that uh, they step on the court, they put uh, his... Uh, his best level, and uh, as a huge fan, as a huge fan of tennis, I, I like to watch uh, pretty good tennis, uh, high level. So those those players are the the best players in the, in the world. I really like to to watch it. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to put you on the spot, though. What about WTA? Well, I I watch uh, WTA as well. Uh, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean. Uh, when I can, obviously. Uh, I mean, when uh, I turn the TV on, uh, if uh, it's uh, <laughs> WTA, ATP, uh, whatever, I, I, li I like to watch it, obviously. I'm going to get you, my man. I'm working on it, but I'm going to get you. But <laughs> it's okay. Your next match, let's get back to focus. 
You're in the quarterfinals for the first time here in the Australian Open. You're going to go up against someone who's been difficult for you to play at times. Sasha Zverev, he won today in a, a very tough match. What are you looking forward to in that match? What are the keys for you to be successful? Well, uh, I think playing uh, at this level, I will have uh, my chances, uh, I think. Uh, obviously, as, uh, as I saw, uh, he has played uh, tough matches as well, five sets, tiebreak in the, in the fifth set. So I think uh, it's going to... It's going to be tough for him as well. Uh, you know, I, I remember in, in US Open, uh, he was struggling the runs before, uh, before coming to, to, to my match. And uh, yeah, he, uh, he was in, uh, in his 100% in the US Open. So let's see if uh, I hope to, to play a, a really tough match against him. I love playing against, against him, against Sasa. Uh, I think both of us bring a... a High intense uh, tennis, a high level of tennis. I think for the crowd as well, it's a, it's a, a great match. So I I will try to put my my 100%, my best tennis, and uh, let's see what happens. Melbourne, are you looking forward to that one? I certainly am. Congratulations to Carlos Alcaraz.